Right, it's up to Big Barry. Taoiseach, I went on to the prepay power website this morning. The website said, if you do not keep your prepay power pay-as-you-go meter topped up with credit, it will self-disconnect and your electricity supply will cut off. On vulnerable customers, it stated, the CRU has put in place a rule whereby registered vulnerable customers cannot be disconnected for non-payment of arrears during winter months. This applies to both gas and electricity. It is important that all of our customers categorised as vulnerable understand that this rule cannot apply to them whilst on our pay-as-you-go supply. This, by the way, is five days after your Minister for Energy met with representatives of this company and hailed the exchanges as a result for prepay customers. Are there minutes of this meeting? Can we see them, please? While I'm at it, if energy companies are being spoken to as stakeholders, why is the Minister not also speaking to pay-as-you-go customers? Are they not stakeholders too? Or are some stakeholders more important than others? The Minister might learn a thing or two if he bothered to speak to the customers. He might hear about the households who never stocked the freezer up full for fear of the electricity going off. He might hear about the housing estates where security alarms go off every Friday in the homes that can't afford to top up their electricity before payday. He might hear about the contempt that people have for the phrase self-disconnect, which trips so easily from the lips of energy bosses and some government TDs these days. Taoiseach, I'm sure you've realised, but I'll spell it out for you, just in case you haven't. The news is not good for you and is not good for your government. If the moratorium doesn't mean a moratorium for all, and unless there are zero disconnections this winter, because if that doesn't happen, the personal stories of people who have been disconnected will be read aloud every day here in this doll, and your promise that there will be no disconnections, will come back to haunt you. Is this what you want in the run-up to December the 15th? Is this what the Taunashton wants in the days that come after that date? It's time to go harder. Time to go harder with these energy companies now, Taoiseach, I think, and I await your reply to the questions. Well, first of all, the government doesn't want disconnections this winter uh, above all else. Uh, as you've said, for winter 2022, the usual one-month pause on disconnections for non-payment has been extended to three months, from the 1st of December 2022 until the 28th of February 2023. And for vulnerable customers, the pause on disconnections for non-payment has been extended to six months, from the 1st of October 2022 until the 31st of March 2022. And I understand that work is being progressed by the CRU now to waive the fee to enable people to switch from pay-as-you-go to bill pay in order to avail of the protections of a vulnerable customer. Now, the Minister has met with the industry. Uh, it's the understanding of the industry standard not to disconnect at weekends. Emergency credit is available to get people through uh, until they can purchase credit again. But in addition, again, uh, in terms of engagement, the entire objective is that no one will be disconnected and that emergency credits um, can be made available. But if you add to that then the additional protections that have been put in place by the CRU most recently in respect of pay-as-you-go um, in terms of the, uh, the debt repayment levels reduced from 10% from a previous 25% um, in terms of the 20 euro uh, top-up, for example. Um, so there, there are additional protections by the CRU. But in addition to that then, the additional needs payment is always there uh, in respect of anybody who's in difficulty in terms of social protection to go there, get the additional funding uh, to top up, but also to engage uh, with MABs, who also have a pattern of engagement with the companies. As the codes of practice, uh, um, the companies themselves do not want to be disconnecting anybody, and there's a, there's a way to pre pre prevent anybody 
from being disconnected, but also in terms of the budget measures we've introduced, which are quite significant between now and uh, the end of the year, um, in terms of the annual cost of living double payment. That will commence on the 17th of October. Mm. Um, about 1.4 million people will benefit. The double child benefit payment is on the 1st of November. Uh, that's 639,000 families in respect of 1.2 million children will benefit. The fuel allowance lump sum of 400 euros a week commencing 14th of November about 371,000 people to benefit. Uh, 200 payment euro to people living in receipt of living alone allowance, commencing on the 14th of November. The 500 euro cost of living payment to those in receipt of working family payment, that's commencing on the 14th of November, that's 44,000 people. Uh, the disability support grant of 500 euros commencing on the 14th of November, a further 216,000 people benefiting from that. The 500 euro carers support grant, week commencing the 21st. Um, of November. So the entirety of the measures that we provided for in the budget, which will be rolled out and paid out to people um, from now until the end of the year, I think gives a very strong uh, capacity and back up to people who might be in difficulty uh, from an income perspective or from whatever perspective in terms of meeting and being in the position to top up their, uh, their, 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 their payment mechanisms. Those measures will get many pay-as-you-go customers through this winter, no doubt. But will it get all pay-as-you-go customers through the winter? No, I don't believe that that's the case. And I don't think you believe that that's the case either. You said that the fee has now been waived for pay-as-you-go customers who want to transfer over to bill pay if they're vulnerable. That's very good. But it's for medically vulnerable people. If someone has a sleep apnea and needs a CPAP at night, they can do that. But what about somebody who is financially vulnerable? What about someone who is living in poverty? Right? They do not, as of now, have the right to transfer over from pay-as-you-go to bill pay without paying penalties. And those penalties are very considerable, Taoiseach. For example, someone who is financially vulnerable, who's living in poverty, who's a pay-as-you-go customer, who wants to switch over to bill pay, do you know what the penalty is, what the charge is for that person, Taoiseach? It's €199. Euro. Now, the charges have been removed for the people who are medically vulnerable. I'm asking you, will the charges be removed for the people who are financially vulnerable? Will they be removed for all? This has to be a moratorium for all, not just for some. In my view, for the financially vulnerable, um, and we've identified a whole range of measures now that we're paying out from now till Christmas, that will help the financially vulnerable. I mean, the substantial payments being made, um, which should help people to be in a position not to get into difficulty with their pay-as-you-go bill. But that said, the addition needs payment is there. Anybody who's financially vulnerable should engage with MAPS, um, should engage um, with, with the additional needs section as well, to make sure uh, that they can get the resources uh, to, to make sure they're not in any debt situation with pay-as-you-go uh, and to get this resolved. And we will continue to engage with the CRU to make sure that there are protections over the winter period against anybody being disconnected. It is our view, and it's the view of the industry, by the way, that this is not standard practice. Uh, by all means, if you have material that you can bring to our attention, you know, in respect of vulnerable customers that you're in contact with, I gladly receive that, and we can use that. Uh, to work on, 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 on further solutions here. Uh, but across the board from the CRU prote RU protections, from the welfare um, budgetary announcements we've made, uh, and the various supports we are giving, uh, and also the, the social protection addition and needs scheme that's there as well, with MABS, we believe we can protect people from being disconnected.